everyone having a great day out there. We uh, we open up with North Carolina State. Our guys are excited about it. We've uh, seemed like we've been in camp for a long time, and you know, our guys are excited about getting an opportunity to play uh, another football team. And we've got our hands full here in week one. Uh, North Carolina State. I thought they were one of the hottest teams in the country at the end of last season, finishing up the bowl win with a big win over Central Florida. Um, one of the one of the top head coaches in the country, I believe, and Coach Coach Dave Dorn's got one of the highest win, winning percentages. A really good defensive mind. Uh, obviously, with them, it starts with their with their quarterback Jacoby Brissett, uh, Heisman Heisman Trophy candidate. I think he um, he's a guy that can do a little bit of everything. He throws the ball extremely well. A big physical runner, uh, a guy that can can generate some tough yardage for them, um, and then they're they're they've got a really good running attack. Offensively, you look at them, uh, extremely balanced, most balanced team in the country last year as far as rushing and passing. Uh, Matt Days will get started running back for those guys, and, and I was extremely impressed with him last year. They also have a really good tight end uh, and Dave Greenwich. Uh, defensively, really came on and played strong at the end of last year. Uh, Thought they were, uh, they played with a lot of passion. You know, if you look at the stats they put up toward the end of the year, uh, very impressive. I think they have one of the top, or the most experienced secondaries returning in the entire country. The most I know in the in the ACC, and, and one of the one of the top um, or one of the top returning units in the country. Uh, some guys that just jump out to me uh, immediately are the DN Mike Rose uh, had a lot of tackles for loss and put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Uh, nose tackle BJ Hill. A uh, really big, really big, powerful guy inside, and their Mike linebacker Jared Fernandez made a lot of plays. And I think their strong safety Josh Jones is really active. We're going to have to account for where he's at. Thought they did both corners that are returning. Thought they did a nice job in coverage last last uh, last year. With that, I'll answer any questions. Thank you, Coach. As a reminder, our members of the media, it's a star one to get the queue to ask questions. Uh, first questions come from uh, Randy with the uh, Sun Belt Digital Network. Randy, please go ahead. Hey, Neil, how you doing this morning? Good, Randy. How things in New Orleans, man? <laughs> it's it's uh, it's going well here. Uh, thanks. Um, I wanted to ask you about one thing you brought up at Media Day um, when you were here, actually, in New Orleans. Was um, you said you wanted to improve in the turnover margin area and penalties. Now, besides you know those those two statistical categories being very important aspects of winning football games, why why was your focus so much? On those, on improving those two areas going into this season. Well, our focus really from uh, from spring ball on is is we want to be the most improved team in the country. How can we go about doing that? And the things, the two things that jump out to me just from a statistical category that can help us do that are turnover margin and penalties. If you look at us last year, uh, finished uh, above 100 in total uh, defense, scoring defense. And, uh, plus 100 in uh, the total offense category as well. So for us to make big jumps, and when I talk, talk about big jumps, is to get in that top 60 in the country, to get in the top half, is I think the, the two things that we can do that I think are controllable are turnover margin. We've got to hold on to the football, uh, especially um, you're talking about uh, security, not putting the ball on the ground is fumbles, and then uh, reduces our penalties. And there's those I think those are both discipline issues. Uh, we work ball security and creating turnovers every single day uh, of, of our practice. It's the first true period we do every single day. And then we've done a, I think, we've been really active having officials at our practices. So uh, hopefully that shows, hopefully in game one it shows the work we put in there. And I want to ask you real quick, um, finally, about the culture change that you also mentioned at Media Day. What's kind of been your um, philosophy in changing a culture at Troy? Into um, what you what you guys want to do there? Well, the, the culture here is I think that's that's always the hardest thing to change anytime you go into a new situation. Um, the good thing about it, at Troy is is Troy has won in football for a long time and experienced a, a ton of success. And and what we've got to do is we just, we've got to constantly remind our guys and educate them about the history of Troy, um, whether it's the two national championships in Division Two, a national championship in NAIA in the 60s, or the two Division Two championships in the 80s, or the, the five conference championships, some belt conference championships in a row from 2006 to 2010. Um, you know, what we're doing here is is we're getting back to 
and, and really, I guess, and this is what, we're, what we've done really in the last week, heading into this this week, is it's focused on belief. We've got to build the confidence in our guys and get the belief. Uh, our guys have worked extremely hard. I think our buy-in factor has been, been very high for a, for a new staff coming in. Um, now what we've got to do is we're going to get hit with some adversity, and we're going to get hit with some adversity by a really good football team to go to Carolina State, and then we're going to see how our guys react. All right, thanks, Neil. Good luck. Right, you. Uh, thank you, Coach, um, and uh, thank you, uh, Randy. Um, Coach, that's all the questions we have for you today. We do appreciate your time. Okay, thanks.